Good morning, Pelham Road. Just a quick word. I'm going to step aside today and let the devotion be done by the gentle spirit of the Prime Minister of Humor, Angela Suderman. Angela, inspire the people. Ever wondered where some of the interesting places are inside the church? Maybe places you've never seen? Well, come and take a walk with me and we'll check them out. Okay, y'all. So I'm taking you on a little tour and it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. So, oh, now I've given away the secret. Here we are in the back hallway behind the sanctuary. I'm gonna show you something. It's the women's room, but it's very special because in here are the nativity. So if you're actually in the women's room, you have company. Also in here are robes, video equipment, old carpet samples, and a filing cabinet. And for the very brave, there's a bottle of grape juice that's been here since probably the last communion. Wait, there's more. If you've been baptized here, you recognize these steps. But do you recognize this? We have artists in our midst. And now here we are in the men's room. Now I'm here by myself, so don't worry, nobody's here. And here is where we keep candles, oil, electronic equipment, oh, and the breaker box. And I don't know, anything else you might want to think of randomly, look in the men's room. There's even a list of things you might find here. Back behind the sanctuary is also where we keep the pulpit, mic stands, fire extinguisher, because you might ever you might need that, and a variety of chairs and stools. Here we've got our organ loft, which no longer has an organ in it, but we still have the loft. What do you think we should do with this now? We name our rooms um, very practically. So this little storage closet is called the Coke closet. Why do we call it the Coke closet? Because being very practical, it's because there's a Coke machine in it. So if you ever hear us talk about the Coke closet, it's where cleaning supplies, and canned beverages can live side by side, is the dead flower room. It was so named because it used to have shelves in it full of fake flowers, worship arts, paraphernalia, but now it has you in it. Here's where we're storing the name tags, waiting for the day that we can all see each other and wear them again and greet each other with hugs. Did you know <clears throat> that we have a dungeon? This is it, folks. I am gonna have to turn on a light because it gets really, really dark. Of course, once you've shut the door, you can't find the light switch, but here we go. So here's all the inner workings of the church and some supplies and some more supplies and the fire sprinkler thingy and big breaker boxes and more dungeon. Here we go, down some steps. It's getting creepy. And if we keep going and keep going and keep going, we get to the elevator room. Isn't that exciting, guys? Let's go back out. Although it is nice and cool in the dungeon, a nice place to be in the summer or in March, if you're in South Carolina. We'll turn off the light. 
be momentarily in the dark again. Try to find the door. That's awkward. And there we go. Back into the gym. Y'all, this is probably the only place in the whole church that doesn't have storage in it for some reason or another. And here is why. Here we are in the bell room. Cleaned out the bell room because those used to be full, I think. But here we are. Anything you might want now, anybody recognize this? Because whoever made it, we still have it. And there's another little guy right there. And a history of vacation Bible school containers. Oh, look, and we found Mary and Joseph and another Christmas tree and a really cool organ. And to keep it safe, this beautiful advent wreath that Carl Kelly made. And there's empty wrapped boxes, another big cross, choir robes, and of course, cow tablecloths. Ooh, does that make you dizzy? It makes me dizzy. Sorry about that. So that is a tour of the choir bell room. The next time we're all together, pop by the, the uh, Sunshine Cafe because it has a new fresh coat of paint. So when you see it and you see Tal, Tal, tell them thank you. So in some of our videos, you've seen this tree. This tree was given to us by Jeanette Anthony. Uh, right before she moved to Charleston to be with her daughter. We've named her Jeanette so that Jeanette is always on our mind as we miss her and we miss Jack. Here's the saddest picture ever. Here's part of the reason I'm doing this is it's Saturday and no one's here and just like Sunday when no one's here and I just need some together therapy. Even if y'all aren't physically here, you're here with me right now.